We are wrapping up Space Week in one of the world's most innovative companies. Now, the man who invented PayPal sunk most of his profits into this idea to build spaceships that take off and land right back here on Earth. Now, Dave Malkoff is live, live inside the SpaceX headquarters in California. And Dave, what are we looking at behind you? Is that where they actually make the rockets? Yeah, absolutely. This is the Dragon capsule back here, and below me is where they manufacture this stuff. It's been a little over a year since SpaceX first connected to the International Space Station successfully. They've done that three times now, delivering products like ice cream and other things that are more essential to the ISS. We came here to wonder what's next on their delivery menu. Two. Right now, there's only one company that builds spaceships that land back on Earth. And if you need proof, all you got to do is walk the SpaceX factory floor. That Dragon flew in December of 2010. That's orbited. why it has the re-entry marks on it. That's correct. Two and a half times uh, around the Earth and then back into the Pacific Ocean. SpaceX calls its capsule the Dragon. It's already sent cargo to the International Space Station and, as you can see, the Dragon's got room for chairs. The company wants to send astronauts in just about two years. It's not clear right now whether we'll have some SpaceX test astronauts to start or whether we'll always have uh, astronauts from NASA. When Shotwell yeah. is in charge of day-to-day -day operations for SpaceX. So this right here is your server. That's correct. But I noticed it says Cyberdyne Systems. We have a great <laughs> sense of humor here amongst our employee population. So you're hoping that this does not go live? <laughs> The company's main goal is to avoid a nightmare future like we've seen in movies like The Terminator. Um, <laughs> Billionaire founder Elon Musk started the company to get humans to other planets so the species can survive. And wouldn't it be awful had we not been prepared and that the human race dies? Preparation for life on Mars takes innovation. You see, we're not showing you this video in reverse speed. You can see that we can land extremely precisely on a pad, basically like a helipad. This is how the new SpaceX Grasshopper actually lands. But before each launch... You have to stay out of uh, very heavy cloud cover, and obviously you don't launch uh, in case of lightning, if lightning is near. So weather has a big impact on our launch operations. The spaceships are also completely built here. When you look at cost of, uh, of outsourcing, there's many costs. It's not just the cost of that component, but it's the cost of any transfer of information. It's the cost of transportation. And of course, there's the bonus of keeping the rocket scientists here in America. Wow, you've got a lot of people working here and a lot of passionate people too, I would guess. Falcon 9 is clear the tower. It takes over 3,000 SpaceXers, as they call themselves, to turn raw materials into a heart-pounding launch. I have the best employees on the planet. Well, <laughs> and off the planet, soon I would to guess. Possibly soon to be off the planet, that's correct. <laughs> And everybody here are a whole lot of fun, but don't get me wrong, this is serious business. Their next launch is scheduled for later on in the summer from Vandenberg Air Force Place, based right here in California. Malkoff, I need you to hook me up. Get me on that list of uh, being able to get <laughs> up in space. I want to do it. Sure, I'm writing your name down right now. Huh. That was convincing. Right, right to the top. That of was the convincing, list. Right to the top. <laughs> Just like that. You got an inside, you got an inside man.